So today we're going to tackle something that we should have done a long time ago, and that's our downstairs guest bathroom. So when we moved into our loft, this is what our bathroom looked like. It had hideous brown baseboards, it had all your typical and cheap building elements such as the sink, the countertop, the vanity light, it had an ugly textured wallpaper, and it was all appropriately topped off with this shit colored ceiling. Just lovely. After we moved in, I painted the baseboards and the ceiling white, but this bathroom desperately needed to be updated and modernized. In today's video, we're going to focus on getting rid of the wallpaper, demoing the bathroom, and painting the cabinets. This is called grass cloth wallpaper, which we are very excited to remove. Okay, full disclaimer, I have never done any kind of major renovation work, so this is all going to be very new to me, but I'm just going to figure out as I go, and I'm going to show you guys how I did everything. We started by removing all face plates and all wall accessories. It is time. It's time for the ugly grass cloth wallpaper to go. We used a special spray for wallpaper removal, which really helps to eat into the glue behind it. We really soaked each panel, let it sit for a bit, and then we could start peeling it away. I also used a 6 inch putty knife to scrape away any remaining pieces and also to scrape off some of the glue that's left behind. Just as a side note, that orange bottle I'm using, there is no cleaner in there, we actually just put hot water and soap in there. You really want to make sure to remove as much of the glue as possible, so spraying the hot water and using the knife will really help to get this off. This was a tedious process, but it was already starting to look better in this bathroom. After all wallpaper was removed, we scrubbed all of the walls with a sponge and hot soapy water. Taco approves. Now it was time to start demoing the bathroom. We covered the mirror with some tape, just in case this thing decided to crack on us. I pried the mirror away from the wall a bit and slid wood blocks behind it. That way, every time I rocked the mirror back and forth, the wood blocks would slide down further and further and help separate the glue from the mirror. I kept doing this until it fully released. By the way, as a side note, I ended up selling this mirror on Craigslist, and that went towards the renovation costs. Next, I unscrewed the hinges and removed the cabinet doors. Next, I made sure to turn off the hot and cold water valves underneath the sink. I tested the water and made sure that it was off. Now it was time to start detaching the lines. Make sure you have a bucket underneath for any residual water. Loosen the nuts with a wrench and then unscrew by hand. Next I unscrewed each piece on the P-trap. Once again make sure you have a bucket underneath because there will be water in this and it will be gross. We used a razor blade to cut away all the silicone caulking. Then we can start prying away the countertop and the sink. With a bit of rocking back and forth, everything should loosen up pretty easily. Once again, I sold this old sink and countertop to someone on Craigslist and put that money towards the expenses as well. Since we will not be touching the concrete floor and we will not be replacing the toilet or the shower, I covered those with plastic. Now it was time to start repairing any of the damaged wall. For this I used a pink spackle. This stuff is really great because you know it's dry when it turns white. After it's dry, just use some sandpaper and knock it down so that it's flat with the wall. Sometimes you might need to also add some spray-on texture to this. Okay, so let's talk cabinet painting. Painting cabinets can be a really easy and cheap way to update any bathroom or kitchen. The most important part is how you prep the surfaces to be painted and also what kind of paint you use, the quality of paint. This is definitely a great route to go if your cabinets are still in really good shape like mine are. I just want to replace this ugly orange color. I started by removing all the hardware from the cabinet doors. The first thing you want to do is clean everything with a mixture of TSP and water. This will really help to remove any of the grease and dirt that's on the surfaces. 
Next I use liquid sandpaper. This will really help to remove the glossy finish on the cabinets. You just work the product into the wood with a sponge, let it sit for a bit, and then wipe it off with a wet rag. The next thing I did was mask off the water valves and drain pipe. And then I used the liquid sandpaper on the face frame of the cabinet base. This is the primer that I will be using. This stuff is really great and it covers almost anything. It comes in two different sizes. The small can I will use for hard to reach areas and the large can I will use for any larger surfaces. These large cans are really great, they really speed up the process. I let the doors fully dry and then I repeated the process on the other side. While all the cabinets were drying, I decided to start priming the walls. You probably noticed the new LED light that I got for the vanity. I will be installing that later, but I just put this up temporarily so I have more light. After the primer dried, I used 220 grit sandpaper to smooth out all the surfaces. Now it was time for the actual paint. You really want to make sure you use a high quality paint for this. This stuff's not cheap, but it's totally worth it. Now at first I tried rolling on the paint. Now this is totally doable, but after it dried, I noticed I wasn't completely happy with the finish. So I ordered a Wagner sprayer from Amazon and decided to give that a try. I knew that I would be using the sprayer for many projects in the future, so I didn't mind the extra cost. These sprayers are actually very easy to use. It didn't take long before I got the settings dialed in. By the way, the paint color I'm using is a mix between gray and beige. It's a color called Adley Gray. I will leave all the information in the description below. It wasn't long before I noticed that the finish was going to be way better than rolling it on. I recommend doing at least about two to three coats of paint. The next day and after everything was dry, I added the original hinges back on. Now it's time to start attaching these awesome modern handles that I found online. When purchasing new handles, you just have to know the space between the holes. In my case, they're five inches. And man, did these look great. Lastly, I reattached the doors back on. Now I know I'm jumping ahead quite a bit here, but I wanted to show you the cabinets in its entirety. Lastly, I added these clear little rubber stoppers to prevent the doors from scratching and making too much noise when they close. I am extremely happy with the way these cabinets came out. They just look so much more modern. So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys found this video helpful at all, please do me a favor and give it a like. It really helps out this channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe, turn notifications on. That way you'll be notified the next time a new video posts. There's going to be many more videos to come. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you how I built a custom concrete countertop, installed a vessel sink, um, a tile wall, how I built a mirror, also um, how I built a custom towel rack. So stay tuned.